about this? <laughs> Eight events, 32 bourbons, and three days. You can be part of this Kentucky celebration at this weekend's Bourbon Social. Our Deanne Stevens is out and about with the details. She joins us now from Basic Tipton. Hi, Deanne. Good afternoon, guys. What kind of reporter would I be if I didn't make sure that this tasted good for you? It's part of the Bourbon Social, the signature cocktail. We had to check things out. <laughs> Greg Baldia is with us uh, from Jim Beam, putting this fabulous event on. We've got we're cooking up another signature cocktail. But first, tell folks what that was that I just tasted. That is the spiced apple pie cocktail. That's going to be the signature cocktail at one of our Keeneland events. It's a uh, Jim Beam apple cider, a spice mix, and a few different fun bitters. Okay, and it's. Fun to kind of mix things up. You don't just have to put bourbon on the rocks, right? Absolutely not. And that's what you guys are doing this weekend. You're kind of teaching them a little bit about bourbon and what you can mix it up with. Yeah, we can drink like grown ups. You know, <laughs> why not? Exactly. All right, what are we mixing up here? Uh, this is a cranberry orange bourbon cocktail. This is going to be the signature drink at the main event. Uh, anyone that walks in is going to have this handed to them. Uh, thanks to the people at Jim Beam bringing us this nice stuff for us. Uh, we've got some bitters, some cranberries, some bourbon, a special orange liqueur that we make, and we're just going to shake it up. All right, so throw it all in there and shake it up because I think it was only fair since I gave this first one a taste. I'm going to have to taste the second one, right? Absolutely. <laughs> we want to make sure you're doing your job right, Greg. <laughs> is that key? Is shaking it up in that? Oh, what yeah. are you adding? This is cranberry juice. Okay. Not too much because we don't want to ruin the taste of the bourbon, oh, yeah, right? Absolutely not. Especially when you're like part of a bourbon social. If I'm making cocktails, there's not going to be any juice in it at all, but this is for the public. So. <laughs> all right, part of the bourbon social that's going on uh, this weekend, kicking things off at Keeneland tomorrow night, main event here at Phasing Tipton. Right before we taste that, Christina from McKenna Foundation, part of the proceeds going to you guys. Yes, so the McKenna Foundation is partnering with the bourbon social on this for the proceeds. So every ticket you buy comes back to us, and we're kind of helping the children at the Kentucky Children's Hospital. Tickets are still available, Kayla. And tell us about the Bourbon Social, how folks can get tickets. So the bourbonsocial.com in advance. Tickets are still available for the seminar series and the main event. Everything else is sold out. Um, or you can get them at the door. And this isn't just a big drink fest. We want to we want to make sure people that know that you're actually educating folks yeah. on bourbon and all things Kentucky. Absolutely, we have people coming from across the country to teach and taste and explain and explore. We've got something for the bourbon enthusiast and the newcomer alike. Uh, we've got the big brands, the little brands, the new ones, the old ones, uh, a little bit of everything. So. It'll be a good time. It sounds like a good time. All right. Speaking of a good time, let's just taste it to make sure. Mm, that's very good. And I love the mint. I love the mint. You can. You don't have to wait for a mint julep to use that. Absolutely not. You can be using it in all sorts of stuff. <laughs> all right, Greg. All the folks from the Bourbon Social, don't forget tickets still available at thebourbonsocial.com. Cheers, and back to you guys.